No. Go and see who's at the door. Hi there, I'm Rosie Kane. I'm from the Streetwise Youth Project. Are you female? Are your parents home? Yes, yes. Mrs. Melissa. I'm Rosie Kane. I'm from the Streetwise Youth Project. Yes, yes. Please, come and sit there. Thank you. Yes. This is a lovely place you have here. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing to see me. So what we'd like to do today is listen to you guys and Fina and see if we can work out what's going on for her and possibly find a way to help her out. Fina, she has brought shame on this family. My own daughter. I can't believe it. Staying away from school, stealing lollies from a shop. What will she do next? Her mother is so worried. She can't sleep at night. So, this is how you want to treat your family, huh, Fina? We've been working hard, trying to make sure you get the best education. What do you do? Staying away from school? Stealing lollies? You are hanging around with the wrong people, Fina. Those kids down the street, I forbid you to see them again. I forbid it. I have told Filippo to stop you from seeing those kids from down the road. Filippo is her brother. He will put a stop to this. Final, you know, I have asked you again and again. Final, please. Stop hanging around with those kids from down the street. They're a bad influence. Do you see? You see what you are doing to your mother? You are breaking her heart. I blame the school. They are not doing what they are getting paid to do. They are too soft in disciplining the kids. There are rules. The rules must be followed. The school is not backing up their rules. I don't know what else you've been up to. Hey, Finau, you need to keep going to church. Please don't stop going to church. You haven't been for three weeks now. Oh, Finau. Look, I can appreciate this is a very stressful time for the whole family and, you know, you're obviously really worried about Fina. Mr. Melissa? Uh, Mrs. Melissa? I can understand your concerns over Fina's education, but there's some good news. Fina, we've been talking to your teachers and they say you're really bright with a lot of potential. Things have just got a little bit out of hand lately, eh? Can you tell us your side of the story? Is there any reason you haven't wanted to attend school lately? Answer Miss Kane, Finau. She has come all this way just to talk to you. Answer her. It's all right, Mrs. Melissa. It's not always easy for young people to talk to adults they don't know, especially when they're upset. It would really help me now if we knew a little bit about the things that you enjoy at school. Is there anything that you particularly enjoy? School activities or subjects? Yes, she's uh, very good at touch football. She brings home medals from competitions. Yeah, I like to play touch football, but I'm not much good at anything else. I'm not as good as the other girls. And exams are coming up.
But if you stayed away from troublemakers and concentrated on doing your homework, maybe things would have been better for you. Ah. If everyone agrees, then perhaps we can meet Fennel tomorrow at the youth project? How does that sound? If it would get her back to school and away from those troublemakers. Look, we can't promise anything, Mr Melissia, except for to find a positive way forward for Fennel and the family. What do you reckon, Fennel? Do you think you'd be willing to meet us at the youth project tomorrow? Well, thank you, Mr. Melissia. Thank you, Mr. Melissia. I'm sure if Fina's willing, and with the support of her family, we can help to get her back to school. Now, Fina, let's just write down where and when to meet us tomorrow, eh?